In this tutorial, we'll look at installing Kentico on your local machine and then logging into the administration interface. Before beginning, make sure that your machine meets the following recommended installation criteria. Windows 7, both 32 and 64-bit, or Windows 8, Windows Server 2008 R2, 2012, 2012 R2, Microsoft.NET Framework 4.0 or higher, Microsoft Internet Information Services 7.5 or higher, Microsoft SQL Server 2008, 2008 R2, 2012, Microsoft Visual Studio or Visual Studio Express 2012 and 2013. For content editors, make sure that they have the latest versions of Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, or Safari on the Mac OS. For your site visitors, make sure that they have the latest versions of the following browsers, Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Opera, and Safari on the Mac OS. For installation on Windows Azure, please make sure that you have the Windows Azure SDK 2.2 and an active Windows Azure account set up. Before you start your installation, make sure that you have access to Visual Studio, Internet Information Services, and SQL Server. With the completion of the download of the installation, we can go ahead and start. Within the installation, we have two options. We can do a custom installation, and this is designed for advanced users, and it gives you a lot more control, for example, over things where our program files might be located. If you want to specify custom installations, you need control over your database. You want to define the components that are going to be installed, or you want to define the sample sites that are going to be represented. What we're going to do today is we're just going to go ahead and select our quick installation. This gives me the ability to define the site that I want. I'm going to select our corporate site and then I'm going to hit install. This is going to go ahead and it's going to lay down my base files and start to get me ready to run my Kentico installation. Now that our installation is completed, we have a couple of choices. We can go ahead and select local host and this will bring us right into our local site. As you can see, this is a sample corporate site. I'm currently logged in as global administrator, and I have live site editing. So selecting the edit page will give me my browser bar, which will allow me to go ahead and do things like create a new page, edit the current page. I can also click admin here, and as you can see, I have a variety of choices here. These choices that allow me to look at the application dashboard that's included with Kentico. If I go back into my installation screen, you'll also see that I can look at my project location. So if I were to look at CINET Pub, we could go into WW root CMS8 and we can actually see our current project that's here. I can then go ahead and open this up if I wanted to using Visual Studio by selecting the web app icon. This will open up Visual Studio 2012. And as you can see, I have my CMS app project as well as the MVC project, which are both part of Kentico web application. The last thing I'd like to point out is if we click our start button, we go into all programs, and then we drag down, we'll see that we have Kentico CMS 8. And there's a variety of things that we have under here. We have obviously our uninstaller. We also have our code samples, our documentation, links to our site, as well as various utilities that have all been installed and are available on my desktop. 